Dear students, I welcome you all for the third unit. The third unit of molecular biology deals mainly with the transcription. What is meant by transcription? What is the role of promoters, transcription factors and what are the enzymes, say RNA polymerase types that are involved there in the transcription process? Then what is meant by ribosomal RNA transcription and its processing? Further, we are going to see what is genetic code how the genetic code was first deciphered, what are its characteristics, then Ubel hypothesis. What is Ubel hypothesis? Then what is central dogma of molecular biology and reverse of the central dogma? That is with the help of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. We start with the introduction on the transcription. What is transcription? It's an enzyme based synthesis of RNA molecules, specifically mRNA molecules by using DNA as a template. In a simpler word, synthesis of mRNA from DNA. So, this is a very first stage in the overall process of gene expression in an organism and ultimately this leads to synthesis of various proteins that are encoded by a gene. Transcription is catalyzed by RNA polymerase which is an important enzyme which requires double standard DNA as a template and it is the one which can able to add the precursors that is RNTP precursors such as ATP, GTP, CTP and UTP that results in the formation of an mRNA molecule. We already know about DNA is made of two strands that is the two strands are complementary and anti-parallel with one strand is referred as a sense strand whereas the other strand is referred as an anti-sense strand. mRNA is formed only from a 5 dash or 5 prime to 3 prime end that is in turn it needs to use the 3 prime to 5 prime strand of the DNA molecule in order to produce an mRNA. Usually only one among the two strands that is the antisense strand of the DNA is getting transcribed into mRNA molecule. So in this diagram you can able to see the position of the sense strand, antisense strand and on the mRNA. The other names for sense strand are plus strand or non-template strand whereas antisense strand is referred as a minor strand or template strand. And it is a mRNA molecule which is formed from the antisense strand with the help of the RNA polymerase. So the formed mRNA will be exactly the same copy of the sense strand with a single difference that the nitrogenous base thiamine will be replaced here with the uracil. The antisense strand is also referred as a template strand. The reason is it is used as a template as that of how one strand is used as a template there in the DNA replication. Here this antisense strand is used as a template from which the mRNA is synthesized by polymerization of the RNDPs that is ribonucleotide triphosphate using the enzyme RNA polymerase. So this is the one that have been depicted there in the above diagram also. Thus the formed sequence of mRNA is a direct copy of the sequence of deoxynucleotides that are present in the sense strand or the mRNA strand is equal to that of the sense strand with a small difference that uracil is present in mRNA instead of thymine of the DNA strand. Three main steps are commonly present there in the prokaryote as well as eukaryotes from the standpoint of transcription. They are initiation, elongation and termination. Now we look at a few points later to what is meant by initiation, elongation and termination of the transcription process. Before that we will go into this diagram. This diagram again explains what is a sense strand, anti-sense strand then due to transcription an mRNA molecule has been formed there. In the sense strand you can able to find some specific region, promoter, transcribed region and finally a terminator region. So these are the things we need to know so that we can be able to easily understand the concept of the transcription. Now we look at what is initiation. RNA polymerase recognizes a specific site there on the DNA upstream to the gene that is being transcribed. So upstream means it is present or shown there in the left hand side of the 
transcribed region. So, that particular region is a place in which the RNA polymerase first attaches and it starts the transcription process. That attaching place is referred as a promoter binding site. So, in this particular region, the DNA will locally unwind that allows the binding of the RNA polymerase enzyme there to the promoter. The next stage in the transcription is elongation. Here the RNA polymerase uses the antigen strand of the DNA as a template and synthesizes a complementary mRNA molecule using RNTPs that is ATP, GTP, CTP and UTP as a precursors. The mRNA produced as the same sequence similar to that of the sense strand or as a coding strand of the DNA except that the elongated mRNA molecule contains uracil instead of thymine of the DNA. Final step of the transcription is termination of the transcription process that is RNA polymerase encounters a terminational signal there on the gene sequence as a result it ceases the transcription and releasing the nascently formed mRNA transcripts and it disassociates from the DNA molecule.